Okay, next up are shapes, paths, and the inspector. So if we go to the create tools and go to shape and select star and drag that star onto the stage or onto the artboard, you can see that it is freeform. If we hold shift down, then it will keep the height and the width proportional. So let's create a couple of additional shapes. As you can see, there are shortcuts. For example, a rectangle is U and an ellipse is O. So let's hit U, drag a rectangle and hit O and drag an ellipse. Now we have a couple of shapes on the artboard. If we want to move these around, we can hit T for translate. As you can see in the transform tools, T, translate, R, rotate, S, scale, and X for IK pose. Scale is the size, rotation is obviously rotation, and translate is to move it in its X and Y axis. We will talk about IK pose in a later video. So for now, let's hit T and select the star, and then you can drag this anywhere on the screen or anywhere on the stage. Or if you want to keep it um, only on a certain axis, you can drag one of these control handles to make sure it only moves on the X or the Y axis. Same for the scale and for the rotation. Okay, so now this object is selected. To the right, you can see that we have the inspector. And here we have different attributes that we can set. As an example, because this is still a procedurally generated shape, we can actually convert this to path. However, before we do that, let's play around with some of these attributes. We can, for example, set the inner radius to something like 0.2, and that will put the radius closer to the center point. Additionally, we can actually give it more star points. However, once we say convert to path, these options will vanish. That is because it is no longer a procedurally generated shape. It is actually a path with vertices that we can edit. So if we say edit vertices, and now you can see that this shape has multiple different vertices that we can customize. If you've ever used any vector tool or software, this is very similar to any of those that you might have experienced. As an example, each of these points or vert vertices has different settings where we can define the curve or the angle of the vertex. For example, if we hit mirrored, you can see that now we have two control points. The control points are these square blocks and the vertex is the circular white dot. And once it's on mirrored, these square control points essentially mirror each other. Detached would mean that we can now change the length and change the rotation for each of the vertices. And asymmetric would be the same as mirrored. However, now we can customize the length that the control point is from the vertices. Okay, we will hit escape to exit edit vertices and then hit F to zoom back to fit screen. And now you can see that we have this star shape and in the inspector, there are multiple properties that we can set. For example, we can give it a color, a fill. We can give it a stroke. So let's set the strokes fitness to 10. Now you can see it has a stroke or an outline. And then there are multiple other things we can set as well. We will play more with these as we do our animations in the upcoming videos. So I won't go into any great detail now, but it is important to note that Depending on the shape that you select, the inspector will change. Additionally, instead of creating shapes, you have access to the pen tool. So the pen tool allows you to create any shape that you can imagine by simply clicking and customizing as you go along. You can also close the path to make sure that it close to, or closes to the initial beginning. And now you can hit done editing or instead you can just hit escape. So as an example, let's select the star shape again, and we can either hit edit vertices or enter. And then you can see that we have T for translate and V for pen. So if we hit T for translate, then we can modify these vertices, or we can hit V or click the pen tool, and then we can add more vertices. Hit T for translate, and then we can modify these vertices. 
that is essentially all you need to know in the upcoming videos we will be doing a lot of this and this will um, become more natural as you practice.